Google Chat has many interactive features that help you collaborate better with others. As you communicate with someone or a team, you might want to retain important messages for future reference. Google Chat lets you forward messages directly to Gmail. To do this, hover your mouse over a message, click More Actions, and then click Forward to Inbox. The message you clicked and the previous four messages in the conversation thread will be sent to your inbox. If the messages are ever deleted from Google Chat or you turn off history for the conversation, the messages will remain in Gmail. To create a task in your personal task list, you can hover your mouse over a message, click More Actions, and click Add to Tasks. Creating, editing, and sharing files is an important part of collaboration in the modern office. Google Chat makes it simple to share files with a person or group through messages. Click the Upload File button to browse your computer for a file to share. You can add a message along with the file for context or requests before sending the message. A thumbnail image of the file will appear in the conversation and your colleagues can click to open and view it or download it. To share a file from Drive, click Google Workspace Tools and then click Drive File. If anyone in the conversation doesn't have permission to access it, Google Chat will prompt you to modify the access to let them view, edit or comment on the file. You can view Docs and Sheets files shared with Drive directly in Google Chat. When collaborating on Docs and Sheets files directly in Google Chat, you can edit, format, share and rename them. To open the editor, hover your mouse over the file and click Open in Chat. If you need to use additional features like commenting, you can click and open the file in a new tab to do so. Messaging can be an efficient way to communicate, but sometimes a face-to-face -face meeting is necessary. Click Add Video Meeting to invite a person or group to join a Google Meet video meeting. To schedule a meeting for later with the person or all members of the group that you're messaging, click Google Workspace Tools, select Calendar Invite, and add the meeting details using the Google Calendar side panel on your screen. To send the invite from Google Chat, click Save and Share. If you're using an Android or iOS mobile device, you can start a voice or video call from Chat or Gmail. Open a one-on-one -on -one chat message in the app and click the Start Voice Call or Start Video Call icon. To end the call, click the Call End icon. Using emojis and GIFs can also help you better express yourself during virtual conversations. You've already learned how to insert an emoji into a message. You can also use an emoji to react to a message sent in any direct or group message sent in Google Chat, even shared files. To choose the appropriate emoji, hover your mouse over the message, click Add Reaction, and don't forget to have fun. You can also make your own emojis and share them across your organization. Custom emojis can help you personalize messages and celebrate your team's culture. To create a custom emoji, click Add Emoji and then click Create. Select Upload Image to choose a picture from your device, name your emoji, and then click Save. You can find custom emojis, like other emojis, by using the search bar. Also, to see all emojis that were created within your organization, click the Custom Emoji icon. Google Chat has an integration with Tenor, which lets users search for and send GIFs in the web version of Google Chat. To insert a GIF into a message, click Add GIF to search for the GIF you want, select it, and then click Send Message.